Amuna town that was ruled by the Portuguese for over four and a half centuries. This quaint little beach town gratifies the whims of sunbathers and swimmers, majestic forts, historic churches, coconut groves and of course abundant and delicious seafood. So join me as I set out to explore the melting pot of cultures on this exquisite pearl on the west coast called Daman. Daman in the south of Gujarat is a small port in the Gulf of Kandy. This paradise along the Arabian Sea was once known as the Lotus of the Marshlands. Daman has a history that dates centuries old and a Portuguese influence which is hard to ignore. Daman was the battleground to oust the Portuguese and had witnessed many a wars waged against the alien powers. The Portuguese have left behind a legacy in the form of ornate churches and imposing forts in this sleepy coastal town. Jerome Fort in Nani Daman is a huge structure with impressive fortifications. The fort was constructed in order to keep a watch on the activities in the sea. It's a township in itself that is predominantly Portuguese in style. And as you walk through it, you will spot a lot of quaint little Portuguese houses that are still existent. Another famous remnant of the Portuguese style and architecture is the Bomb Jesus Church that displays a remarkable Roman style architecture. Moti Daman houses the Church of St. Paul and the Cathedral of Bon Jesus. Both of these were constructed by the Portuguese during the 16th century. The forts are marvellous examples of Portuguese architecture and their emphasis on minute details is worth noting for us. When it comes to shopping, Daman offers a wide choice for the travellers. Look forward to buying some top quality leather products, baskets and bamboo mats. You can also find large number of handmade items. Daman with its churches, beaches and exotic cuisine is a major attraction for tourists from Surat and neighbouring Maharashtra. Scenic locations and ancient fort towns with a moderate to cool climate makes Daman a perfect option for a weekend home. Daman was actually, uh, you know, it was a tax-free area for around 10 years. So you can see many, many establishments coming and settling over here where you can find many big branded, uh, you know, industries also which have come and settled and established in Daman. Everything from uh, diesel, petrol or to alcohol will find on a very reasonable rate. I would love to have an investment plan out here. There are malls which is coming up. They are entirely a new place to what I have seen a year back. Daman is an area which is uh, somewhat like Goa. So people from uh, you know in and around like Mumbai or Surat or Baroda, which is nearby to Daman. So they come and hang out here where you can find beaches like Devka Beach, Jampo Beach. Beachside Daman recently got its first five-star property.
Situated just 5 kilometers from the beach stands the massive and majestic the Delta Lake. The minute you drive into the Delta in Daman, you will notice a tremendously spacious location and the serenity amidst which this hotel is situated. And behind this industrial looking facade of the building actually lies an elegant resort with the gaming theme reflecting in all its elements. Spread across 10 acres, the Delta in Daman has 176 generously sized rooms. The rooms offer views of the greenery or the meandering pool. Deluxe Suite gives you all the luxuries of a 5-star apartment. This suite comes with an independent living room which separates it from the private bedroom space. Deluxe Suite also offers amazing views of the courtyard and the grand pool. The presidential suite is nothing short of spectacular. Experience another level of luxury when you stay in this suite. The suite features two king-size bedrooms with a private pool that ensures you remain in your own individual space. The grandeur and majesty of the presidential suite provides an ideal balance between elegance, privacy and comfort. Step into the Delton's Emperor restaurant and inhale the aroma of exotic Pan Asian cuisine. The muted lighting and well laid out tables in individual pots add a touch of intimacy to the place. Delton's all-day dining multi-cuisine restaurant, Vegas, offers a mix of Pan-Asian, Continental and Indian cuisine. Relish your favourite dishes while you have a spectacular view of the poolside. Catered to suit the tastes of every palate, the restaurant's vibrant, lively decor and immaculate service delivers the very best to all their guests. The Delton gives you so many ways to pamper yourself. square feet of pure rejuvenation awaits you here. Choose from a variety of spa treatments to soothe your senses. For a more intimate experience, you can book a special treatment with your loved one in the exclusive couple suite.
At the Delton, they believe that everyone should be able to keep fit and healthy, which is why the hotel provides world-class gym facilities to its guests. So while you're relaxing on your vacation, you can burn a few calories in the gym. An array of activities can also be enjoyed in the game room, including billiards. Right now, I'm going to meet the general manager of this luxury hotel, Mr. Akash Mathur, who's going to tell me about all the unique features and facilities available here that makes Delton one of its kind. Akash, needless to say that this resort is beautiful and really sprawling and massive. But before I get into asking you, uh, you know, what makes it so special, I want to know when did the operations begin? We started in April last year and uh, so it's, you can say it's close to two years of operations now. Now, you know, there are many competitors in the market and especially Daman being a local uh, popular getaway. What does Delton do to ensure that it's one of its kind? Daman being a getaway destination for a lot of people from the Mumbai suburbs, from, uh, from Surat, you know, it's two, uh, three hours from Bombay, two hours from, from Surat, it's a perfect getaway destination. Yeah. Daman being a unit comes with, comes with its own set of advantages of what can be done in, uh, done in, Daman, in Daman. So we set up a five-star hotel primarily with the focus of uh, catering to the weekend drive-away destination, as a drive-away destination. And uh, we created 176 rooms. It's uh, only five star from between Mumbai suburbs to Ahmedabad. It's the only five star where you can get away, have a lot of fun. It's a unique theme. And uh, you see the beautiful pool. Yes, uh, yeah. We have 176 rooms. We have a huge banquet facilities. Well, undoubtedly, you have an advantage of having a huge space. Like, it's massive. Now, apart from being a popular getaway, Daman is also an industrial hub, a major industrial hub. So what do you do to make sure that you attract that part of the crowd as well? For a fact, uh, we are the only five star. And uh, then our rooms are very spacious. We have 400 square feet, that's a base category rooms. We have uh, a lot of banquet spaces. So we are a very preferred destination for a lot of corporate events and for a lot of weddings and social events. Plus as a weekend destination, we do a lot of events uh, for our guests who travel on Fridays and Saturdays. So it's two days of complete entertainment. They can forget all the stress of the, of the weekdays. They can enjoy the spa, they can enjoy the bar, they can enjoy a lot of facilities at the, at the hotel. Yeah. So all of that make us very, a very unique hotel in this territory. Well, and what time of the year do you usually experience maximum number of tourists? Well, uh, all 12 months. Yeah. All 12 months, yes. There, are you lucky because of the geographical advantage of Dawan? Yes. You don't have to, have to plan a month in advance, book flight tickets, you know. Friday evening, Saturday or Thursday evening, you decide that you know, I need two day break, take your car and drive. Well, another interesting feature that I noticed was the, in the interiors and the architecture, the whole theme is based on gaming. We have a few hotels in Goa, we have a few uh, cruises in Goa. Our theme is uniform across, we are known for that. We've just carried forward that to Daman, Daman being a flagship hotel, the Delton Daman being a flagship hotel. We've hired uh, a few painters, we've hired uh, our interior designers with a very fixed focus on, on what uh, they should deliver. So what was the inspiration behind this? What was the idea behind it? The idea behind it was to provide the same gaming experience that uh, a lot of uh, other destinations offer. And when you come here, you just get into the, into the whole theme and into the whole mood of, mood of it. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, if we were to talk about uh, some future plans in the pipeline, what would that be in terms of expansion or uh, any other special features coming up? We are looking at expansions, uh, provided we get the right partners. And uh, Daman, as, as of now, is, is our focus for the whole company. In fact, if you look at uh, our uh, expansions in Goa, we've just started uh, we've just started gaming in our hotel, uh, the Delton Suites in Goa. There are a few other things in the pipeline that should be announced very soon. Uh, what would, if you had to sum it up in one line, that this is what makes Delton stand out, uh, what would that be? So we are an aspirational hotel. We are a lifestyle brand. And uh, we cater to everybody from the age group of uh, very young adults to the senior uh, people. We cater to everybody. 
as an aspirational brand and we deliver on that promise. All right. With that, I wish you all the luck for the future and thank you for talking to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you. They say that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. At Delton, they take it quite seriously. And Chef Mayur has agreed to treat me to a variety of cuisines that Delton is known for. So we're not going to wait for this any further. Let's go ahead and see what's in store for us for the night. Well, chef, I have to say that I've never felt so lucky. Uh, I'm already waiting and impatient to try all these cuisines that uh, Delton is known for. So tell me, where do we begin? What all do we have right now on our plate? Well, what we've set up today is, is uh, a selection of different grills. Uh, like you see, we've got a lot of seafood that we've procured from the markets here. There's a lot of emphasis that we give uh, at the local produce at Delton. Uh, like we try and utilize the maximum, uh, the locally grown vegetables, the locally uh, available produce. Yeah. So that is what we have, that we've tried to put along and you know, we'll be doing some grills, there'll be some uh, local dishes that we'll be explaining. So could you tell me one of those uh, local dishes that are actually quite popular here? Well, Daman is like a, a cultural hub, you know, you have Udwara, which which a region which has got a lot of Parsi influence. You've got, I mean, this is a union territory, so you've got yeah. Gujarat and Bombay close. So you have a lot of Gujarati food influence, Maharashtrian food influence. So the two dishes that, that we probably would be speaking of today is one, uh, Zardalu Boti. Okay. Uh, Zardalu because it it's uses the Hunza apricots, which are also called as Zardalu in uh, Hindi. And uh, Amrut ki sabzi or Peru ki sabzi as it is called in Gujarati. Okay. So since we are in Gujarat right now, so let's begin with the Gujarati dish. Yes, please. Which uh, happens to be? Peru ki sabzi Peru or Peru ki sabzi. Sabzi. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how is it prepared? What is the preparation like? Because I've never really tried, always had guavas as a mm -hmm. fruit. You can never really imagine as it as a vegetable. Uh, well, uh, this dish is uh, a very traditional and a very simple preparation. Uh, it uses basic ingredients like haldi and cumin and uh, red chilies for flavoring. Uh, what what uh, basically stands out in this dish is the tartiness, the crunch of the peru along with the sweet and the sour taste that, that is complemented with the lemon. And so usually it's had with what? Ro uh, chapatis? It's, it's, had a, it's had with fulkas, it's had with bhajari ki rotis also. There's a thing called biscuit bhakri that, that is very popular around this region, yeah. which is uh, which is complemented with that. Uh, I really need to satiate my appetite right now. And with all that aroma around, I can't resist. So here you go, Aditi, this is our Peru ki sabji, like you spoke of. Well, I've been really patient, I have to <laughs> say. I hope, since they say that patience is a virtue, I hope this pays. Absolutely. Mm. Very tangy. Absolutely, like I said, you know, it's got all flavors, it's got it's got different textures to yeah. go along. Well, thanks a lot. I mean, it tastes amazingly palatable. And I have to say, never really tried um, Amrud before, could never think that, you know, it could turn out to be like this. I mean, that's definitely what, try it at home. That's what I said. I mean, this region offers us so much in abundance in terms of vegetables. Yeah. They use a lot of fresh produce like, like beans, which you know, you've got your surti papdis, you've got your valdana, you've got your harachana. They use a lot of this green produce in this region, which which yeah. makes this region really rich in terms of vegetarian offerings. Well, Chef, we have um, sort of explored um, a desi Gujarati cuisine, but now when you're in Daman, one thing you totally cannot ignore is the seafood and the variety of seafood that's available here in comparison to any other commercial metropolitan city by the sea, right? Yeah, yeah. And I see a collection of... Uh, Lot of crabs, <laughs> lobsters, and fish. Yes, we do. In fact, we have uh, some pomfre, some some fresh produce from here. We've got some mud crabs. We've got some lobster. We've got some prawns. Yeah. There's also a whole red snapper that we have. Uh, so I mean, this this is this really goes well with the concept of the pool bar when we have live barbecue. Yeah. And then you know that being yeah. for the guest and having sipping on a cocktail, having a fresh barbecue, nothing can beat that. So now, uh, since you talked about the spectacular view of the poolside, I really want to relish uh, some barbecue. Oh, absolutely. We yeah. Look to that, yeah. So, shall we go ahead? Yes, please. Fish is 
finally roasted. Waiting to dig into it. Like I said, you know, already by has promised. Yeah. What we've done here is just coupled it with a, with a salsa that is made with again okay. uh, uh, locally uh, available ingredients. We've used radish pods, which are called as mogri and suwa leaves or dill leaves. So this is a salsa that will go really well with with your with the fish. Uh, fish. Well, it's yeah. very succulent, I must say. Uh, the salsa gives you a nice pungent, fresh flavor of the herbs coming along. Yeah. So. Well, thank you so much. I mean, I've been like looking at it and wondering that. Um, not trying to be too empathetic <laughs> towards the fish and waiting for it to just get roasted to the fine temperature and texture. And I think it's really good. Thank you so much, Chef. Pleasure, guys. On that note, I really have to thank you for uh, treating me to all this. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to have you here, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Nobody has been so generous with me, by the <laughs> way. So thank you so much and thank wish you. you all the very good Take luck. Care.